welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's ka naman, pag-aaralan natin kung ano nga ba ang research through reacting to Sir Edwinus Prime video. By the way, you can visit his channel named Edwinus Prime and don't forget to subscribe. Sipiplin natin itong video ni Sir Edwinus Prime about research and let's watch this. Search again to take another more careful look to find out more. It is a systematic quest for undiscovered truth by Lidi in 1974. It is a systematic attempt to provide answers to questions as stated by Tuckman in 1972. It is searching for theory, for testing theory or for solving a problem. And my, my very own personal definition, it is to search for solutions to a gap in knowledge in a systematic and scientific way. Here, nagbigay siya ng five meaning of research with these citations. And according to Sir Edwinos, sinabi niya dito na ang uh, research daw is for searching pero in careful look, which means Doon sa pag-aaral na ito, pupunta tayo in much deeper or in deeper manner. And then, let's continue. And you do it in a systematic and scientific way. Here, sa part na to, sinabi din niya na, ang research is systematic approach. Ano ba pag sinabi natin systematic approach? So, systematic is, ito yung step-by-step Para makapunta dun sa solution na yon. in other terms, ito ay organized. Or in short, research is organized. And then, sinabi din, din, niya, ah, sinabi din niya dito na ang research is an approach to search in a gap. So, in a gap in knowledge. So, pag sinabi kasi natin gap in knowledge, ito yung discrepancy or yung pagkakaiba-iba. Na kung ano yung alam na natin at kung ano po yung gusto pa nating malaman. So, ma-achieve lang natin ito through research. Ngayon, proceed naman tayo sa reasons of research in expectation or in terms of expectation. So, here, play ulit natin yung video. To understand various issues, to provide solutions to problems, to seek the truth. Most researches are published. The results of researches are published. So, you can try to validate the findings of other researchers. Whether what they say in their paper is true or not, that is also, that is also a research to nourish the so, dito sa video ni sir, he said five reasons for conducting research. So, ito yung ano, the first one is to build knowledge. The second one is to understand various issues. Third is to pro uh, provide solutions to that problem. The fourth one is seek truth. And the fifth one is to nourish the mind. So, I agree to what Sir Edwina said on this video. So, to summarize or paikliin natin, yung the key purpose of the research is to explore. So, pag nag-explore ka, you can gain, gain knowledge. And also, to satisfy the researcher's curiosity at syempre, to find answers on, uh, on the problems or the existing problems. And here, by doing research, validate natin yung study na ibang authors. So here, we can validate if legit or accurate ba yung, uh, yung uh, study of the other authors by doing research or researching it again. And we will proceed so here, dadako naman tayo sa reasons for doing research but in terms of reality. So here, play natin yung video niya. 
mostly it is our job. We do research for personal gain and interest. To get promotion, if you are a faculty member in a university, research is very important. We have this phrase called publish or perish. And by doing, by publishing, you can get a promotion through, uh, if, especially if you are in state universities and colleges. There is a point system so dito, in the uh, NBC. Niya, sinabi niya, the first one is to, uh, it is your job. Or let's say, ito yung responsibility mo. I, as a computer engineering student, this is my job to make a research or conduct a research. And then, I agree to what he said in this video na uh, research is uh, to gain or personal gain. Kasi dito kapag halimbawa, or you can say, let's say gumawa ka na research, this is your key to promote. Kapag kasi na-promote ka, mas mataas yung salary, and also, uh, makakakuha ka ng iba, uh, iba't iba pang opportunities. And aside from promotion, pwede ka rin, or you can, ano, you can, you, uh, you can achieve your goals and dreams in your life through this, through conducting research. Tayo sa research and game. Hindi to yung ano ha, Avengers and game iba yan. <laughs> Charot! So here, sa ating, ano, sa ating research and game, Meron tayo ditong presentation, reports, publications, patents, product, commerce, uh, product commercializations, travel to other places. Kasi dito, kapag nag-contact ka ng research, hindi lang doon basta matatapos. Uh, kapag natapos mo ang research as an undergraduate student, you need to make presentations and also to make reports. Here, uh, we can publish also our paper on Scopus or in other open source journal. Meron din tayong patent to protect, uh, to protect our intellectual property which is yung research study natin. And also, in order to be success yung research natin or, uh, or tsaka makagain ng money, we need to commercialize our research. So, kaya meron tayong technopreneurship na subject here in the Philippines. And then, sinabi niya din dito sa video na some of the U uh, some of the students or undergraduate students in the U.S. is millionaires. Kasi, kinomercialize uh, nila yung study or yung research nila. Which is true naman. So, meron ka ng idea. Types of research. Uh, types of research and then play ulit natin yung video first one is the basic research the plan systematic pursuit of new knowledge and understanding towards a general application new the key word here is new knowledge and understanding towards a general application the first one is the basic research so, dito, so, uh, kung paano ko understand, basic research, in short, is to increase your, ano, your scientific knowledge. Kung baga, bago sa atin to, and then kapag bago, mag-formulate tayo ng new knowledge. So, meron tayong new, uh, new knowledge. Aside from this, uh, kailangan nating ma-understand, uh, understand the function of newly discovered subjects. At saka dito, sasagot sa tanong na, why is it important? And proceed naman tayo second. Sinabi niya dito na ang second type of research is development research. So dito naman papasok yung designing and developing. And developing. Andito din yung innovation ng existing product or device. So, dito nag-focus si Sir sa development ng hardware. Ito sa example niya ha. So, nag-focus siya dun sa hardware 
para mag magamit sa pag-extract ng green coffee beans. So, baga dito, enhance natin yung existing product para maging convenient. So, for additional information, ha, sa nag-take ng master's degree, they use action research, not the basic one or not the development research. And kapag undergraduate student ka, commonly nire-require tayo na development research yung gagawin natin or gagamitin natin. So now, play ulit natin, uh, play ulit natin yung next part ng video ni Sir Edwinus Prime. So ito. So dito sa part na to, sinabi niya yung 5 agenda ng Cavite State University. So, dito kasi, if student ka sa CABSU or Cavite State University and contact ka ng thesis, you can choose one field among these five. Five to five. The first one is Agri-Fisheries and Food Security. The next one is uh, Security or Public Health and Welfare. Societal Development and Equality, Smart Engineering, ICT, and Industrial Competitiveness. Usually, sa field na to, is recommended siya sa mga electronics and computer engineering students as well as IT or ComSci students. As well as, uh, dito rin, yung, lastly, Biodiversity and Environmental Conver Conservation. Sa mga nabanggit, you can choose one only one for this thesis title. So sa limang yan, sa limang yan, pumili ka lang na isa para sa iyong uh, conducting analysis. I hope marami kang natutunan dito sa aking reaction video to Sir Edwinus Prime video entitled What is Research? So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to like this video. And then thank you. See you on next. I uh, see you on my next videos.